Okay, now that we know where to find your parts and deals and everything else, um, you're probably going to need like extra help maybe deciding what parts to find and like what you need. Maybe they could save you more money like if you so you don't go overkill for what you don't need and everything else. And so if you're not playing games, you probably don't need a dedicated graphics card unless you're doing like media works, but like that's what these forums will do. Forums I've used is the right here. Um overclock.net and it's stream overclocking here. I'm gonna go to this one first. This is the first forum I computer forum I think I've ever signed up for. It was very helpful. I this is how I taught myself pretty much everything or if uh, give everyone else credit. The people on the forum taught me. I asked the questions, they answered me or I like looked on Google is probably even even better forums like just type in your question and there's a good chance you'll find your answer if, right on Google versus having to ask in a forum and taking up space like you sign up here I this is my first place I learned stuff they have um f each forum has different threads like they have individual slots for it. if you want to ask about what processor processors should I get until AMD uh, depends what you're doing. Water cooling, if you want to do that. Um, what type of graphics card, monitors, hard drive, the works. Like stuff like that. We've got to back to overclock.net. Uh, you should also you should not be limited by these two um, forums. There are many many forums. Like even just like random like um, like probably a gardening forum could like have a computer section just not going to give you the details and like expertise I'm sure as a dedicated computer forum like these two are um, for instance you scroll down just go to the front page of clock.net and you scroll down you have tons and tons of stuff um, you can go through like the processors as well like and things like this like for what I don't tell you in later videos, if you ask a question here, they'll um usually be able to answer it depending on how what kind of question it is. I've had questions that weren't answered or were answered. Like I asked here, what power supply should I get? Like should I get a higher one for more future proof or should I just get a regular one that will work with this? There's power supply calculators and stuff online, but it's nice that Ask people who actually have the power supply or actually have have used like graphics cards or a computer that needs that kind of power supply and have personal experience with that sort of things. The forums are very useful. Like I said, Google's very useful. Um, these are the two forums I use. You don't have to be limited to, to those again. Remember also sites. Um, and Ingash doesn't typically, but a site like let's see. If I can get it right, and and tech, I guess, is a site that posts benchmarks. Um, they're they have a really good section. Also, I think, um, what was it? Um, bench, um, Tom's Hardware also does a lot of benchmarks. If you just type in like a graphics benchmark, a CPU benchmark, you'll find a ton. I uh, typically like if you look for games, don't. Use synthetic benchmarks like Greedy Mark or uh, um, Vantage or um, programs like that. Synthetic is uh, just a number. It shows you as the increase in performance, but it doesn't necessarily show like what's best. That's why I always use forums and benchmarks to like um, find parts. Yeah, remember if you have any questions, comment below. And thanks for watching.